Hi everyone, now we'll try to construct a smart irrigation system using packet tracer in the simplest possible manner. Click on Cisco packet tracer and log in as usual and enter into the workspace. First click on wireless devices and choose the home gateway. Then click on end devices and choose smartphone. Then choose the other components from home. For creating a smart irrigation system, you can choose lawn sprinklers. For a larger area, you can choose more lawn sprinklers. Around 2 to 4 lawn sprinklers we choose. Then choose water level monitors. So 2 water level monitors we will choose. Next we will create a good view for the irrigating land. For that, click on draw rectangle. Here we will fill color for the irrigating land. So click fill color and select the color you want to fill. In order to bring the look of a garden, we will choose green color. Click OK. Now draw the garden area. Close it and click escape. So here you can name this area as garden or you can name it as an irrigating land or anything you wish. You can also use this region to write your uh, register number or your name or name of the experiment, anything. It is up to you to fill it. Next, arrange the components in this region according to the usage. First, we will set the password in the home gateway. So, click on home gateway, click configuration, look into the LAN details, then click on wireless, copy this SSID and keep, then click on this passphrase and set the password. I set it as get connect, close it. Now, connect each of the component here to the home gateway. First, click on the lawn sprinkler. Read the specifications once, then click on configuration, give the name. I give it as sprinkler1. Then click on home gateway in IoT server. Then click on advanced, click IO configuration, see whether it is connected to 1W, that is wireless. Then click on configuration, click wireless, set the password here, get connect. Close it. Now the sprinkler1 will get connected to the home gateway. Next, choose the water level monitor, read the specifications, click on configuration, give the name water level 1. Then click on home gateway, click advanced, click IO configuration, see it is connected to 1W. Then click on configuration, wireless, set the password here, get connect, close it. Now the water level monitor will get connected to the home gateway. Similarly, connect the rest of the components in the circuit to the home gateway. Next is sprinkler 2, next sprinkler 3, next water level 2 and the last component sprinkler 4. Now you can notice that all the components here are connected to the home gateway in a wireless manner. Now we will connect the smartphone to the home gateway. For that click smartphone. Click configuration, click wireless, set the SSID that is home gateway, then set the password that is get connect and close it. You can see that the smartphone will get connected to the home gateway. Now click on smartphone, here click on desktop, click web browser, give the URL that is 192.168.25.1. Click go. Click the username and password that is admin, password is admin, click submit. You can notice here that all the components connected in the smart irrigation system got displayed in the smartphone. Now you can access each of these components through your smartphone or you can automate it using either conditions or using editor which will help you to write the program. As usual, we will use conditions because that will be easier. So click on conditions. Click add. You can give any name here. So here looking into the scenario, I feel that you can have control on the sprinkler 1 and 2 based upon the water level monitor 1 on the top region and at the bottom region based upon the water level monitor 2, you can take control of the sprinkler 4 and 3. So with that in mind, I give it as top sprinklers on. You can give any name. It is up to you to give it. Here, we will set the condition as if the water level monitor 1 shows a water level less than 5 cm, we will give the action as sprinkler 1 status to be true, 
and another action to be sprinkler to status to be true click ok next add another condition here top sprinklers off here if the water level monitor 1 reads the water level greater than 5 cm then we set the action to be sprinkler 1 status false and sprinkler 2 status false and click ok so when this water level monitor 1 reads the value less than 5 cm these two sprinklers will be on and if this water level monitor reads the value greater than 5 cm then these two sprinklers will be off then we will set the condition for the bottom region so click add you can give the name as bottom sprinklers on if the water level monitor 2 reads the water level less than you can set it as any value you can set the same value or you can give it as 2 cm 5 cm 10 cm whatever it might be i choose the same thing so 5 cm then sprinkler 3 status to be true and sprinkler 4 status to be true that is both sprinklers 3 and 4 are in on condition click ok then add another condition bottom sprinklers off here if the water level monitor 2 reads the water level greater than 5 cm then we set sprinkler 3 status to be false and sprinkler 4 status to be false that is both the sprinklers are in off condition now we have set here four conditions two conditions for the top region and two conditions for the bottom region based upon these two water level monitors 1 and 2 we will see how it works click on home you can click here water level monitor 1 and water level monitor 2 both reads 0 cm here also you can notice that both the water level monitors are showing 0 these both are not working how can we make it work for that click on water level monitor click on specification and see how you can enable it it works with the environment object here how we can enable the water level monitor is that you have to click on the environment object related to this water level in order to initialize or trigger the water level monitors so for that you can get into this home and click on any of the sprinkler and set the condition to be on now you can notice that both the water level monitors started working so keep in mind in order to initialize or trigger the water level monitor to work you have to click on any of the environmental object around it to on condition now notice here when the water level monitors are above 5 cm all the sprinklers are in off position when the water level monitor goes below 5 cm then the corresponding sprinklers gets on notice here below 5 the sprinkler gets on above 5 the sprinkler gets off so based upon the water level monitors the sprinkler gets on and off so this is the simplest way of constructing a smart irrigation system using packet tracer try this circuit and let me know how it works you can connect more components here according to your creativity and work on the circuit if you find this video to be useful kindly subscribe it and share it with your friends Thank you for watching this video.